Hello YouTubers, uh, it's me again. Uh, just had a little problem with the DSL again. And it's crapping out on me and it's not doing it. It's probably getting disconnected every time because of it. DSL is going on the fritz again. It looks like I can probably may not not be able to post another video. Well, anyway, if you think it is this um um bill number uh, nine seventy eight is scary, well, here's what's the, happening. It appears uh Facebook's going Orwellian again. This time, they they are going. They are now using um, facial recognition uh, software to as a use um, to crack down on users with uh, fake profiles. Now they're going. I think. I think what's going? What's happening now? They are. Facebook is now pl is planning on cracking down users accounts with fake profiles using facial recognition and guess what if you have a user account if you your fake if you you have a profile that has a, has something like an anime character or an animal with a face with a facial recognition software well you could be banned because the, the because of according to terms of service the uh, profile pick a, a p because the profile pick because the profile pick does because all the photos in the because if you have because in order to, for you to to have a pro because all profile pics mu must be real it must have your real identity in it Yep, it's Orwellian. It kind of make me sick. Well, let, let, let's me show you what's what's happening about this. I think it te technically it's a bad bad idea. I mean, this Facebook facial recognition. It's leading uh, to the mark of the beast. You, if you don't know the mark of the beast, it, it it's a it's a signia that, uh, according to Revelation thirteen verse fifteen to eighteen, it's a a mark uh, a chip or tattoo. In the right hand or forehead, I think that is going to, stuff like this is going to happen. And and the, and the first of all, with this facial recognition software, this Facebook's going to use. They can't could give your photos to the government, and they can and they can use your identities and they can uh, give away your identities to the federal government so that they can track you down for for what copyright infringement that's right copyright infringement remember that on my last video about Senate bill 978 well they could that the government could ha could tell Facebook to hand over you 
the photos of you to them. Now that sounds scary, isn't it? Well, let me uh, show you that in this uh let me I'll read it to you this on on an article in the Guardian. Um I, I cannot no I probably cannot uh post any more links to it. But this is the it, it's scary. It's a uh, really scary right now. All right, it's what Facebook fails to recognize. Uh, Facebook has a form of being cavalier with users' privacy, but its new facial recognition software has truly dangerous implications. Rem Remember the uproar when Facebook made a list of your friends, pages, your fan? Uh, gender, ge geographic regions, networks publicly to everyone, now social networking, be ha excuse me, be ha behemoth has silently enabled facial recognition software without your permission under the bang, under the bang, bang, bang uh, rather tagged Suggest photos of me to friends, even you, even if you choose to disable the option. Facebook will have the technical ability to connect your name with your image. That's right. That's right, folks. They can use the facial recognition software, and they can give your your identities away to the federal government. So that they can use it, so that the government can use it against you and your family. Whether you have embedded uh, one of your birthday videos. Just remember, what, what does this have to do between a facial recognition and Senate Bill 978? Yeah. It it has to do with your your freedom. I think that this is leading down to the mark of the beast, folks. Now that we have um, Facebook credits as a to be that is supposed to go in effect on July first as a as an in-game. As the primary sole currency for the for for the apps, it may as well become the one world currency. Read Revelation thirteen, verse fifteen to eighteen. All right, I don't got time. Uh, I'll have to make this quick. Uh, make this quick because it there's a whole lot. There's a whole lot on there. Uh, I'll read this part. A U.S. Congressman Edward Markey, Democrat of Massachusetts, Chairman of the Bipartisan Congressional Policy Complaint, requiring users to disable the feature after they already included by Facebook no substitute. For an opt-in process, if this new feature is useful as Facebook claims, it should be able to stand its own automatic sign-up that that changes users' privacy settings without their permission. Well, what are you going to do about it, folks? It's if you have a user, if you have a Facebook account, delete it. Delete it now. Get rid of your internet and start writing real letters, real postcards. And don't forget, read your Bible. I think it usually the end end times is coming upon us. Well, I think it's about near ten. I think I'm over my 
tenth limit. But if you want, if you if you really need, if you need to tell me where, if you so, if you want to know where I get this sort, please ask on my channel. Well, I think that's it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.